Hello YouTubers. Now making this video late night as I was so much excited about uh, sharing this information with you all. Uh, right now I have solved one problem which I was facing which uh, many of the Adafruit uh, MQTT broker user must be facing. The problem was that Adafruit uh, account allows or the Adafruit allows only 10 feeds to be used by a single user or by the single account so that means that you can you will be able to create only 10 buttons or you can be able to control only 10 appliances with a single account but what if i you want to control uh, um, more appliances like i was uh, in a condition that uh, i was making a project in which i need to control multiple appliances but i was stuck with this era fruit constraints so i explored it a fruit uh, broker and found the solution of my problem and hope that uh, this, this this problem is faced by many of you or many of the users of Adafruit so I decided to share it as soon as possible so what I did is that uh, I did a little trick and with that trick I am able to control multiple appliances multiple appliances with only a single feed yeah so I don't even require the other nine feeds with a single feed I can control as many appliances as you want so let's see how I did this and let's see how this works. Let's get started. Okay, so in this computer screen, as you can see that uh, I have only one fade which is called test. The test is created and uh, uh, the ESP8266 is programmed in such a way that it is subscribed to the test topic. And on my phone, I'm using an uh, client app which is also subscribed to the same topic. So first, let's see uh, uh, it's working and then we'll move on to the code and uh, other stuff. So I will open that NQTT app, which I have downloaded. I've attached the link of this app in the description so you, you can go ahead and download uh, this app. So first of all, you need to uh, add the, what you can say, uh, Adafruit IO, I'm showing here only. You need to add some details about the broker. Its port is 1883, default port, it, uh, your username and the password, which is AIO key you need to enter. So these are all parameters you need to enter before getting started. Then you go into this uh, uh, client ID or first client and into that you need to subscribe to multiple topics. You can subscribe to a topic by creating any button or switch or something. For I, In here I have created a combo box. Combo box contains multiple uh, buttons. So this is the combo box and uh, uh, yeah, as uh, as of now you can see that the LEDs all the LEDs are in the off condition So I will turn on all the LEDs one by one with a single fit. So first of all turning on the LED one Yeah, it is working and the second LED Nice now the eighth LED Okay, nice. I haven't, I haven't created the ninth LED uh, para, uh, What you can say button so I will just uh, show you how to create you need to add new item and the item value uh, You won't be understanding it uh, the format right now but uh, you will be understanding soon as uh, soon as we move on towards the code okay save so i will turn on the ninth led okay so this is perfectly working it's all with a single feed <laughs> it's, it's really nice okay so let's jump into the code and let's see how it is working okay so the code will be in arduino That's a nice little code. I think uh, some of you, some of the coders uh, uh, have got the idea about how all this is working by only just looking at the format of uh, format in which I am sending the data. I think some of you must got the idea, but yeah, okay. For the rest of the others, uh, don't worry, I will be explaining the whole concept. Okay, but yeah, in this video, I won't be going into how this Adafruit MQTT uh, broker works or how, what is MQTT and uh, what is this code about and everything i won't be going into detail for that you need to watch my uh, previous video which is uh, controlling appliances over the internet so in this video i will be just covering uh, how to solve that problem of uh, limited control of appliances so first of all in the code i have created uh, uh, declared all the digital pins of this esp266 after that uh, so here as you can see that i only subscribe to one topping which is feeds feed uh, forward slash test so Okay, so it is only one fit. So what I said was correct here. I declare all the pin as output which is LEDs are connected then 
okay subscribe to only one that is on off button i haven't changed the name i was in a great hurry so i haven't changed the name also it doesn't matter okay so here is the logic okay let's side by side view this also okay so initially what uh, what we were doing is we were creating a button a toggle button uh, this toggle button takes one fade and sends only boolean data of on and off so this is uh, this is what we were using in the up till now or i was using up till now but uh, this time i have switched to this text this text uses a single fade and in this in that fade you can able to you are able to send a string of characters or a string a whole string you will be able to send to the different clients so this is something which i have used uh, this time so in that string uh, i have created particular format uh, here you don't need to do anything you just need to create a, a text box and assign a feed to them so here the test box is named as test and the feed name is also test here so the broker side work is done so all the trick is inside this arduino code so what i did uh, <clears throat> on receiving the string first of all i saved it in a string a variable called raw and in that i am searching first of all for the uh, first underscore so before the first underscore whatever the data is I have converted first into the integer by this uh, function called uh, string dot to int this will convert it into integer so the first integer or the first character before underscore is my pin number and after this I am searching for the second under underscore and the data between the first underscore and sec second underscore is my uh, state of that pin so first number is pin number and second uh, number which I am getting is the state of that LED in that particular pin this is the format which I have created but you can even extend this format just like uh, consider as one underscore one underscore one uh, which may reveal which may be considered as the light of my first room the first light of my first room should be turned off so this is one one zero you can but likewise you can create multiple appliances so you just need to create a particular format and uh, tell esp or tell or uh, write inside the code that how to depict how to what you can say decode that particular logic that particular uh, format which you have created so likewise if the pin number is one and uh, so digital write this is l1 so led1 and a state number so whatever the state uh, you need to assign to the led so if like uh, similarly else if pin number is 2 then the L2 will be toggled or L2 state will be changed if pin number is 3 the L3 state will be changed uh, this is this is so easy and so useful the one fade and you can control multiple appliances so I think this is a nice little logic uh, made uh, something uh, very simple and uh, very much uh, easier to use so sorry Adafruit if I have I did something wrong for you <laughs> but uh, i was happy with this and i think uh, people need this so okay so this is it about uh, this video and i hope you liked it i i think you definitely liked it if you are uh, if you are struggling from this problem you will definitely like this video but uh, okay if you are getting started into if you are uh, the new to the era for empty just watch my previous video and after that watch my this video so you will be a uh, lot more benefited by this video Okay, so this is it about this video. Subscribe my channel for upcoming uh, project tutorials on electronics and uh, the DIY videos. Until then, explore and share with me Techie SMS. And this time, good night.